Disclaimer, I freaking hate math. It's not my thing. So let's make this quick. Um, so I'm gonna go over the reporting and presentation techniques. No, um, I'm gonna go over bar charts and histograms because those are reporting techniques that you're gonna use when you're in HR. Like, I can't even be excited about this. I'm honestly just struggling. Um, I can see in here, so I'm gonna actually kind of give y'all a little bit some visuals, some visuals. Uh, okay, so let's just get done with this, right? I wanna be done. So a histogram or a Parietto chart, sorted histogram, I freaking hate math. Sorry, is a column chart that shows frequency data. To create a histogram in Excel, you can use the histogram tool of the an an analysis tool uh, part. So basically, you can have it do it for you. It uses two columns of data to create histograms, one for data you want to analyze and one for bin numbers that represent the intervals by which you want to measure the frequency. The major difference is that a histogram is only used to plot the frequency of score occurrences and a continuous data set that has been divided into classes called bins. Bar charts, on the other hand, can be used for a great deal of other types of variables, including ordinal and non-nominal data sets. So if you see this one, this is figure three one. This is your histogram. Great. Um, so then we go to our bar chart, which oh, I'm pretty sure you probably made one in one of your math classes, right? A bar chart or bar graph is a chart or graph that presents grouped data with rectangular bars, really, with lengths proportional to the values they represent. The bars can be plotted vertically or horizontally. Pie charts are the best to use when you are trying to compare parts of a whole. They do not show changes over time. Bar graphs are used to compare th things between different groups to, or to track changes over time. Um, here's an example. Making sure you can see that's a bar chart, a histogram on the test. That one's the histogram. That's the bar chart. Differences. Um, let's do this. Let me read this part over here. Okay, so the major difference is that a histogram is only used to plot the frequency of score occurrences in a continuous data set that has been divided into classes called bins. And bar charts, on the other hand, can be used a great deal of other types of variables, variables including ordinal and nominal data sets. So you guys got this. I hate math, so I'm done. All right, thanks for watching. Leave a comment below on any other type of video. Look, I'll even do things I hate. If it helps you, um, then give me a, subscribe to me if you're studying for the APHR because all my videos that I'm creating will mostly help you with what you need. And give me a like, thumbs up, all right? Thank you for watching.